UMass Lowell Baseball, after too many days off and too much winter weather, returns to action, returns to the Diamond Tuesday afternoon at the University of Rhode Island. The Riverhawks in the early going, five wins, two losses, off to a good start in their maiden voyage in Division One. They've gotten solid pitching, sound fundamental defense, and they've gotten clutch hitting. Some thoughts from head coach Ken Herring. We're as prepared as we've ever been, and uh, our biggest question mark you know, going into our first game I thought was pitching. Uh, you know, Shane Boschman obviously proved what he could do last year, but I thought the depth of our pitching staff, we had some question marks. And uh, to, to a man, each person has stepped up in big situations and made big pitches uh, when they needed to. Uh, guys uh, that haven't natu- uh, normally been counted on, like Nick Buturis, comes out in a bases loaded, one out situation against Ryder and gets a strikeout and a ground ball. Uh, Tilani Denaro, who didn't contribute too much last year, comes into his first game against Cincinnati uh, out of the bullpen and throws 14 out of 18 pitches for strikes uh, and, and comes out of that weekend 2-0. Um, so we've gotten con- contributions from everybody on our pitching staff, and our defense has been lights out, uh, anchored by Danny Mendick at short, who's just been tremendous. Uh, I think we've turned 10 double plays already in seven games. Our infield defense uh, up the middle has been tremendous with, with Danny Mendick at short and Kelly Rooney at second, really turning a lot of double plays. And Jimmy Ro- uh, uh, Jimmy Rocoy over at first has just done a tremendous job picking balls out of the dirt and helping out his infielders. And Matt Sanchez has made a smooth transition into third base. Uh, he's made some mistakes over there, but those are to be expected when you're playing a new position, but he's really done a really nice job over there. If you would have told me we'd be 5-2 and two out after seven games, uh, I don't know if I'd say I'd be surprised, but pleasantly, uh, su- pleasantly surprised maybe is the word to use. Um, it doesn't shock me by any means. We've preached to these guys we will not be intimidated by the names across the jersey on the other side. We are going to just go play baseball, and in the, in the game of baseball, if you throw strikes, if you play defense and you get a couple key hits, you're going to win baseball games, and that's what we've done. We've capitalized on other teams' mistakes. Uh, we're fielding 980 as a team, uh, which is pretty darn good for college baseball. Having only had one practice <clears throat> on a diamond before playing in a game, and that was last week at Virginia Tech when we got there a day early to practice. So to be able to go out there and, and play the kind of defense that we've played under the circumstances that we've had to practice in so far this year, I think is a true testament to the mental toughness and the, uh, and the preparedness that my coaching staff has put these guys through. Uh, it speaks volumes. and. Um, you know, we've put our guys into every possible situation that we could possibly put them in in practice, and it's paid off so far. But seven or five and two after seven games doesn't make a season. As you know, Bob, it's, it's, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. And it's the team that plays the most consistent baseball throughout the year is usually the one that ends up on top at the end. And, you know, that, that's over. And now we're looking forward to this weekend with the University of Rhode Island. I think we're at about a three and a half to one strikeout to walk ratio right now. Uh, it's been tremendous. The work that Coach Monahan has put in uh, with these pitchers on a daily basis, uh, getting them to believe in themselves and having them have the ability to throw three pitches for a strike in any count. Uh, another thing that hasn't gone on notice is the games that Brendan Monahan has called. He's called every pitch, and I have not one time had to go to him and say, hey, I would like this pitch in this count. Uh, and that is unheard of with me. As my previous pitching coaches will know I'll, I'll, I'll request a certain pitch in a certain count, but he's got, he's got full autonomy with those guys and has done an absolutely tremendous job preparing them and getting them to believe in themselves. And um, we're hoping that that's going to carry through. You know, we're going to have our days in the future where we might get hit around a little bit and we're going to walk some guys. But I think as a whole, our pitching staff believes in themselves because already they've faced adversity in the first couple weekends. We've been in situations, bases loaded, no outs, and Nick Buteris gets a ground ball, strikeout, strikeout. Uh, and Jacob O'Keefe makes a great play on the ground ball with a force out at home plate. Uh, so we've been through a lot of tough situations already in seven games, and we're going to be in a lot more coming forward. Uh, hopefully we stay successful in those situations. But as you know, in baseball, you're going to be successful. You're going to have some failures. And as long as we can keep an even keel throughout this, I think we can continue to play good baseball. We've put the ball in play uh, when we needed to put the ball in play. We haven't given away at-bats. We've grinded out some pretty good at-bats, 
and against some pretty good pitching. So it's been a focus of ours throughout the winter. We're going to have to play small ball to win games. We've gotten, I'd say, 95% of our bunts down. We've hit behind the runner really well. We've gotten a few sack flies when we needed them um, and, and with the runner on third base. So we've been preaching that all winter, and the hard work is paying off. You know, Eric Pelletier has done a great job, uh, along with myself, in terms of getting the hitters to believe and getting the hitters to buy into hitting in situations. Uh, you know, a leadoff batter is only a leadoff batter the first time of the game, and after that, he he can become a three hitter in an inning. So um, we've done a really good job of making these guys aware of the situations and getting them to relax in big situations, and they've done it. And it's been one through nine. I think if you look at our lineup, there's probably six or seven guys with four or five RBIs that are leading the team. Uh, there's not that one guy in the past like a Katsurubis who's kind of carried us for a week. It's been everybody. And against Virginia Tech in that game that we won, it was the bottom half of our lineup. Our nine hitter gets that inning going with Jacob O'Keefe with a single to the right center. And then we bunt him over, and uh, you know, and Luke Reynolds comes up in a situation where he hasn't played all year, has an 0-2 count against their closer, and hits a triple to dead center field. That was the hardest ball hit all year. So the guys that are getting opportunities are taking advantage of those opportunities. But it's been a lot of fun uh, to to watch these guys progress. And now, I mean, they're starting to believe in one another, uh, one through 32 on this team, and it, it can make for a, a, a lot of really positive things. And I think that we have them believing. Now it's just a matter of continuing that uh, momentum that we have. It tells us that we can compete at this level. Um, I think you know we're a few years away from being a force, but I think we need to continue to play the type of baseball that we're playing, which you know we've had more error-free games, I think, in the first seven games than we had all of last year. Um, but if we can continue to play the type of defense that we can play and our pitchers are going to go out there and throw strikes and make big pitches in big situations, and the sky's the limit. But we're not, you know, we're, we're trying to do our best to stay game by game. We're focused on University of Rhode Island right now, but we know we can compete now. I think the confidence level is sky high right now, and we need to make sure that that confidence level stays with these guys, and that's by practicing hard uh, every single day and letting these guys know that, hey, we, we've got something to prove every single day that we go out there, and that's to prove to the people around you know, New England and in our conference that we belong. And I think we're doing a good job of that so far, but we're so far away from uh, the end. But it's, it's been a really positive step for the program and for the guys because they understand that if they play the way that they're capable of playing, that you know, they can beat anybody.